Tesla is secretly rolling out a huge update to the Model 3 and Model Y that is going to completely change these cars forever plus we just got our best look at it inside of the Cybertruck and some changes here are making some reservation. Holders very concerned a surprise deal has been announced between Ford and Tesla and it is not good for Tesla. Owners really puts them at more of a disadvantage plus Tesla is offering some big limited time savings for anyone who buys a Model 3. Wonder why Tesla is trying to clear out their Model 3. Inventory as always there's a whole lot of news to break down in the wild world of Tesla so much stuff to cover so in this video I'm going to break down all the leaks all the rumors all the big news happening around Tesla and tell you everything you need to know so here are the biggest stories that you need to know about right now so one of the biggest news stories of the last week or so is good news and bad news for Tesla owners and that is this surprise and unlikely partnership between Ford and test Tesla that may be about to go way deeper than people realize Elon has mentioned a few specific things that no one is talking about so even if you heard this story you haven't really heard the full story so there are really two big parts to the story that you need to know about the first is that Ford Evs are going to get exclusive access to the Tesla supercharger network starting next spring and the other part of this probably the bigger more exciting piece of news is that starting in 2025 Ford is going to switch their charge port on all the Evs they make to the North American charging standard connector otherwise very well known as the Tesla charging port that is used on all of Tesla's vehicles and is going to natively allow 4 DVS to plug right in and play with the supercharger network around the world. Now the first part of this announcement is interesting because Tesla already allows non-test ladies to charge at their stations though the big caveat right now is that they do have to pay more money use sort of the magic dock connector that is only at a handful of stations as of right now around the world but this seems like it's going to be different Tesla is going to be giving Ford bigger access to a larger number of supercharger stalls exclusive access, which maybe comes in the form of getting special adapters some have speculated that maybe Tesla is going to do special pricing for Ford vehicles so they could have cheaper rates than other EVs on the road not exactly sure how this exclusive access is going to work but something you know is coming just for Ford vehicles starting next year that will give them special access to a much wider variety of Tesla supercharging locations. The second part of the story is of course a really big deal for a number of big reasons this is going to give Ford vehicles like I mentioned a plug and play solution for all Tesla superchargers around the world this is a huge win and it's really not good news for a third party networks like Chargepoint Evgo Electrify America uh, especially since they have the standard Tesla cable or I should say the connector that you could in theory you no use an adapter to sort of a swap out for something else being able to use the vastly superior and more reliable supercharger network is just a big win but also let's keep in mind this is not good for you and I as Tesla owners this boils down to yes a good thing if you wanted to switch to a Ford vehicle you would be able to sort of use the supercharger network but the bad news here is that superchargers will continue to be and now probably will excel accelerate a sort of the process of being more crowded possibly a less reliable a longer wait times than just a more strain on the network that we have known to be exclusive for quite some time but that is not the whole story because beyond this in addition to this Elon also not just hinted but openly said that Tesla was willing to work with other EV manufacturers around the world and other parts of the vehicle, including things like the battery, or train software and even saying he'd explicitly license autopilot and maybe even the full self-driving technology to other EV makers some would argue right. Now the Ford has sort of an advantage by using CarPlay but this could be a huge move for Ford and other makers if Tesla was to license their autopilot in full self-driving system if they were to license the Tesla software system in other parts Elon is saying the Tesla U. No isn't looking just to destroy the competition but they're willing to sort of give away their secrets for costs. License this technology out to make other EVs on the road more advantageous. And this could be a big turning point and a big move for Tesla. Lots of implications from this Ford deal not necessarily a good thing for Tesla owners but you know at the end of the day does sort of increase competition which is a good thing for us and also as well it could allow you to sort of buy a Ford vehicle and still you know get a great access to the beloved supercharger network if you want to go that route all right moving on from that next is some 
real really big news from Model 3 and Model Y owners and potential owners and that is a Tesla is now shipping hardware for systems on new vehicles rolling out, specifically from their Fremont factory. Right now now Tesla first debuted their new camera system several months ago and is now finally bringing it down from just being on the more pricey Model S and Model X down to the Model 3 and Model Y of course hardware 4 is a combination of a more powerful self-driving computer also includes an HD radar system so radar is kind of back on these vehicles and of course the big thing is new higher resolution cameras capable of capturing more data as well as physically more cameras all around the car to sort of eliminate those dreaded blind spots now is exciting as this is it's still unclear exactly how much better hardware 4 is over hardware 3 because Tesla has never officially talked about it and what its capabilities are even though they're shipping it on their cars but side by side images do show an improvement in general quality which should be better for things like dash cam and sentry mode should give you a better idea of this different surroundings around your car as well as the theory is that these higher res images captured by these cameras should make autopilot and full self-driving better should make them more accurate and hopefully should fix some long-standing issues like phantom breaking that tesla just can't seem to fix now as exciting as this is should you run out and buy a new tesla for hardware for should you wait there are a couple of things you need to know the first is that this is slowly being rolled out to cars right now so if you have ordered a car and you're planning to take delivery there is no guarantee that you have hardware for there is a way that you can check your VIN and you should be able to see if it has hardware for or not I'll try to find the website leave that link down below but it's a slow rollout so sort of keep that in mind also there have been a lot of mixed reports on whether hardware 4 is on the Model Y and Model all 3 or only the Model Y what I've seen from multiple reports is that it's only on Model Y's right now though some are claiming it's on Model 3's but the reason this makes so much sense that it's only a Model wise is because we know a Model 3 refresh is coming we know it's going to include hardware 4 plus many more changes so it doesn't make a lot of sense for Tesla to sort of change up their line and put hardware 4 when a total refresh from front to trunk is coming in like two-ish months the Model Y on the other hand will be getting a bigger refresh but again according to a report from Reuters that wouldn't come until the fall of 2024 at the earliest so it makes way more sense to make this smaller change put hardware for on the Model Y and get those shipping now while hardware 4 will come to the Model 3 but will not be coming until probably when the refresh comes which should be sometime between July and September-ish. Alright moving on from that let's talk about some big limited time savings and discounts specifically right now going on for the Model 3. Now a few weeks ago, Tesla quietly reintroduced the Model 3 long range in North America and after a lot of discrepancy about what the range would be we finally have our answer the new model 3 long range here in the US now has 333 miles of range and as nice as it is to finally see this model return for custom ordering one downgrade this model has sort of downgrade is that it's got an LFB based battery so that means that it's a little bit heavier the range is going to be a little bit different and also it will not qualify for the full 7500 federal tax credit like other models do so like the rear wheel drive model 3 because this battery is not made in the us it doesn't get the full credit so you're only going to get 37.50 if you want that full credit you either have to go with a performance model 3 or any model y variant will qualify for that full credit so if you want a model 3 long range you can have it you can get a little bit of a discount but only 37.50 Instead of 7500 but some good news is that there are still some special savings and deals you can snag for a limited time Tesla has actually activated a rare discount on their inventory fleet these are brand new cars already built ready to go and you can save up to 13.50 off of a Model 3 in Tesla's inventory and if you're an owner in Texas if you take delivery of a new Model 3 before June 30th you'll get one year of free overnight home charging as long as you sign up with Tesla Electric through your provider that's a pretty good announcement there and of course the key night among you may notice that these promotions only for the 3 and off for the Y that is most likely because Tesla is trying to clear out their Model 3 inventory before the Project Highland refresh comes very soon. Again July to August is the timeline for that so if you want a Model 3 now's a good time to buy and save some money.
though do know that a bigger update is coming like right around the corner. Alright next up let's talk Cybertruck, because we've got a really huge update. Here for years we've seen the progression of the different prototypes. From the exterior that the interior has been much more elusive we've gotten some spy shots but not a good look but now, thanks to this photo circulating around Twitter we've got our best look yet at the interior of the Cybertruck and things are interesting first we've got to talk about that steering wheel this is not the yoke nor is it the round wheel that is in the semi and probably the refresh model 3 but it's sort of a mishmash of the two in this odd squarish design very interesting wheel and of course it does not have stocks on either side so all of your controls are going to be like the yoke and touch sensitive buttons in the middle of the wheel on either side one of the other big changes here is around the cup holder area it looks very bare bones and many are concerned that it doesn't appear that there is a place to charge your phone that's visible maybe you could sort of open up that storage compartment there in the middle and put your phone inside but like the model 3 and model y and s and x have that sort of wireless charger below the screen that doesn't appear to be here at least in the this model it might not be obviously the final version here but it's something to keep in mind. And speaking of screen you can also clearly see that is the larger 17 inches. Display looking very good but the Tesla specific software for the Cybertruck is not here there's no custom UI like we've seen in videos in the past again this could change it basically a moments. Notice it's your software but instead it looks a little interesting to see. Basically the Cybertruck plopped right into Tesla's current UI so not necessarily a bad thing but it is funny to see sort of the irregular Tesla UI blown up and with the Cybertruck image. On the left there also some good news. Judging by the seat here it looks like they are going to include ventilated seats on the Cybertruck so that is going to be very nice to see all right. Everybody so I'm curious what are your thoughts on the Tesla news of the week? Let me know down below all your thoughts on the new sort of deals for the Model 3. Your thoughts on hardware for cyber truck let me know down below also as always I want to thank you guys for watching especially to the very end I've got a couple of products here I'm going to start to do giveaways on hopefully in the next couple of weeks so be sure to stay tuned for that and also I apologize for sort of the lack of videos I was on a vacation for the past week it was nice to take some time off I had some pre-scheduled videos but I was off but I'm back back in full force ready to go. Uh, so I will be here for the foreseeable future talking Tesla news if you made it. This far in the video drop a thumbs up down below like this video and also drop a thumbs up in the comments so I know you made it to the very end if you do I will comment down below I will respond back to you and let you guys know that I appreciate it because I really do appreciate you guys watching and appreciate you just sort of geeking out with me on Tesla news every single week. As always I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much also if you are interested in a Tesla giveaway let me know down below let me know what you'd like to see I've got a ton of accessories out to give away so let me know what you're interested in whether it's a phone holder cup holder a organizer let me know down below and I'll do my best to hook you up guys hook. No let me let me talk here I'll do my best to hook you guys up very soon I've got this far in the end so I'm not going to edit that out so we'll just get all. Of that as always thank you guys so much. I'll see you all in the next one.